Hello YouTube and welcome to another Total Show with your host Mr. Dating. Hello! So anyways guys, today we're looking on the wheel tool. So, the wheel tool, what does it do? The wheel can go forwards and backwards. You can choose uh, the key you want it to go forwards and backwards here. Just a note guys, you usually use the wheel tool to mount wheels on cars or vehicles or etc. This basically means you can make the car go forwards and backwards. S you seldomly use this ability to go forwards and backwards on the wheel to get the car moving. Usually when you make a car you make uh, thrusters instead to make the car go backwards and forwards. We have a tutorial about that on the, the YouTube channel if you're wondering. So you don't use the wheels ability to go backwards and forwards on a vehicle. Usually not. You could, but I recommend the thruster tool which is much better, which is much better that. So anyways guys, let's continue. That was a side note. You can choose what model you want the wheel to have. I've chosen this. And you can place, oh, there was a slight bit of lag. You can choose to place the wheel on whatever surface or any props by left clicking. So you saw those small arrows moving around that shows what direction the wheel is moving. If you want to change direction, you right click on the wheel. Yes. So Turkey or Turk, I don't know how to pronounce this. Anyways, guys, this means how fast the wheel is able to turn around. I had placed it for 3000 right before, so that's pretty fast. And if I place it for 50, that's pretty slow. It's actually that slow it can't even move. What about this one? You see, a bit slower. Anyways, guys, this means how fast you want the wheel to move. And this is the force limit. This means how fast the, the wheel is able to move. There's a big difference with, between these two, these two uh, options. This one makes, uh, makes uh, this one. It tells how much, how, how fast you want the wheel to go around by pressing forward or back or reverse button. But force limit means how fast it is able to go around, which means, as I said before, if you use the thruster to make a vehicle, for example, go forwards, and the thruster is very high, it has a picture right here, if the thruster is like very high like that, um, it means you have to make this force limit very high as well, so the wheel is able to follow the force exerted on the uh, thruster. And this is the friction, this basically means the resistance in the wheel, so if I put it at a pound, it will be very slow, it will be so slow it won't even move, while I put it at this much, it is still not able to move. Yeah, still not able. So this guys, this is, yeah, how uh, slow you want the wheel to move around. And this is uh, the option called don't collide with attached props. And uh, if I suddenly decide to attach it to a prop, and I put this on, it means they won't collide. Basically, these tools are no, or these props are now no collide with each other. And this is the toggle mode. Um, as you saw before, I have activated many wheels here. They turn around. But right now I'm holding the 8 key, which numpad 8 key, which I've chosen. I'm holding it. If you don't want to hold it, I just want to press it once and make the wheel go around, you choose this option. I've done that now, and I press the key once, and it goes around. And if you want it to stop, you just press it again. Yeah, so... Guys, I think this is basically it, so, um, yeah, what you use the wheel tool is for, like, mounting it on cars and stuff, and then usually you use the thruster tool to, uh, get forwards and backwards. So, guys, I think that's been everything for now, and I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope it helped, and feel free to ask any questions in the comment section below. So, bye-bye, guys!